listen, I don't know what it is that you're going through. I don't know what you're battling with. I don't know what's happening in your life. But right now, I know it's a storm going on across Houston and in a lot of different areas that have a lot of people stranded. Just imagine one day waking up and not having your house, not having um, a room for your kids, not having anything that you can call your own. It's just gone. It's washed away. And you don't understand why. You can't just wrap your mind around why. Every day we wake up and we go out and we have the leisure to have our own home. Make coffee. Check out the check out stuff on the news. See who won the fight the night before. Or whatever situation may be, we have that leisure. Imagine if just everything was washed away. Where would your faith be? How upset would you be? Would you still praise the Lord? Let's check out this video. I don't know about you guys, but that sent chills up my body. I can only imagine being put in a situation where I lost everything. It's just me and my son. And we don't know where we're going. We have no direction. We have no clue. So many times I feel like that we've, everyone, we can all relate. We've been in a, in a position, maybe not to the extreme of this guy, but we've been in a position where we had, we had no idea what tomorrow holds. We had no idea what we were gonna do. We had no idea what our next step was gonna be. But how did we respond to that uncertainty in our life? What did we do? Did we give God the glory? Man, my, my so many salute so much and so many props to this guy. Because he had the opportunity and he took advantage of it, full advantage of it. He wasn't ashamed about Christ. He didn't shy away from telling people about a, a God that he worships and he loves and that he knows that was going to take care of him. But even though he said that he didn't have all of his son's school clothes was, were in the house, that he didn't know what they were going to do. But he told the reporter, to God be the glory. Imagine the impact that he had on that reporter. If that reporter is not a Christian, or even if that reporter is a Christian, imagine what he did if he's struggling with his faith right now, or if he's battling with, with, with any temptation or anything like that. He completely took everything that he had and he trusted in the Lord. And he allowed the Lord to speak through him. Now this video is going viral. So imagine all the people in the world that this guy is going to affect. You see so many times in the Bible that we read about people losing stuff and they still giving God the glory and the recognition. But to see someone in our generation, in our time, actually losing something and they give God the glory, it just registers a little bit different. So, and then not just that, let's look at it from a different aspect for his kid. Imagine what that what that is doing for his son's faith in his future walk with the Lord. His son is seeing his dad, he knows the severity of the situation. They're, dr they're drenched in water and they're walking down the street with no direction and he's probably asking his dad, you know how the kids go, are we there, there, there yet? Where are we going, where are we going? He's asking his dad, where, is, where are they going? And he's telling his son, the Lord is in control. We don't know, I don't know where we're going, but I know we're gonna be okay. And he's smiling about the situation. That is amazing, that is amazing. No money, amount of money in the world, no amount of money where no matter what salary you're making, no matter how famous you are, nothing compares to that type of faith. Nothing compares to that type of commitment and dedication to the Lord. Nothing compares to where the lesson that this guy has taught not only his son, but the world. 
from this video going viral. We can always pay for so many different things and we can pay, but in that situation, as you can see, he lost everything. So money would do him no justice for that, that moment. That for him to tell his son everything was going to be okay but because of his faith in the Lord his abundance in the Lord and the fact that the Lord promised us that he's going to take care of us no matter what no matter what circumstance he's going to take care of us he was able to walk out walk out of that stormy situation with a smile so my prayer to you guys today and for myself is that we don't allow ourselves to miss any opportunity no matter the storms that we have no matter the circumstances, situations that we go through, that we take the time and we give God the praise and recognition and we don't miss the opportunity to tell the world, to tell our friends, to tell everyone about God. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I pray that this Truth Tuesday really register with you guys and salute to the guy that, that, that took the time to not miss out on the opportunity to tell the world about Jesus and the fact and to remind all of us that he's in control. It's your boy Truth Technology. Know what you wear, there's knowledge in your walk. Look fresh, be blessed. I'm out. The battle I face. They don't understand what I'm going through. The world trying to play with my soul. I'm just trying to find where to go. I'm trying to remember the way. I'm trying to get back to my home. But I can't do this on my own. That's why I'm just trusting in you. Because I don't know where else to go. And I don't know what else to do.